ever found yourself in an unknown place, wearing a bathrobe you don't remember putting on? Now imagine that feeling intensified a hundred times. That's the daily struggle for those living with Alzheimer's. Today, let's journey into the intricate world of this disease. Alzheimer is like a puzzle with missing pieces. Among its many mysteries are the presence of amyloid beta plaques in the brain. Imagine them as tiny roadblocks in the brain's communication highways that disrupt the connection between nerve cells, leading to the progressive decline in cognitive function. Now picture the brain as a city, filled with the hustle and bustle of everyday life. But beneath the surface of the city lies a hidden battle against an opponent threatening the memories of its inhabitants. In this city, they are defenders, called microglia, the guardians of cognitive function, responsible for the clearance of these plaques. However, in Alzheimer's, microglia are losing the battle and they are not able to defend CT against these plaques. But they are not the only ones defending. There are also other types of immune cells, called T cells, whose role in Alzheimer's remains a mystery. Our journey today begins with a question. How do T cells, the body defenders, help the microglia to battle and shape the brain's response to Alzheimer's? To find answers, we turn to science by using a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease, where some mice had intact T cells and others lacked them. Despite expecting a significant impact on the buildup of amyloid plaques, the absence of T cells didn't change the levels of these plaques. This puzzled me. Why would the absence of these immune cells not affect the disease progression as anticipated? Digging deeper, we discovered that there were distinct differences in the activity of microglia in mice lacking T-cells. It was like they were switching gears, becoming more active, even though the plaques weren't changing much. It's as if they were preparing for something, adapting to the situation in a way we didn't expect. We wanted to see how these different microglia actions affect Alzheimer's, and we got our answer. Additionally to the communication disruption between nerve cells, there is also damage of the protective shield around neurons, called myelin, that is further complicating the brain's ability to function properly. That is where the most intriguing part comes. The absence of functional T cells that led to this change microbial behavior resulted in less damage of this protective shield myelin and maintained its integrity. This finding suggests that T cells play a crucial role in modulating the activity of microbial cells, which is rather detrimental than positive activity towards neurodegeneration, shedding a new light on how the immune system influences Alzheimer's progression. So please join me as we piece together this complex puzzle and strive to make a difference in the fight against Alzheimer. Thank you for your attention.